Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I'm gonna bring all of you guys again to another thrift store. This photos was taken like a month ago, so all the price listed on here will be still valid today and probably in half a year after this, so... I hope this will be the best reference, just in case you are wondering how much you will be paying if you're gonna shop for G-Shock, use G-Shock in Japan. Let me describe to you guys what we are dealing with right now. We're gonna have like three shelves on top and two shelves at the bottom, all filled with G Shocks and of course Baby G. The one at the bottom, however, only two of them have G Shocks. The other one, uh, we're gonna have like random watch brand, you know. I'm not gonna cover them all up, just gonna talk about G Shock in this video, starting from the top shelf. The one on the left first, you're gonna see a bunch of G-Shock already. Most of them, I believe all of them, is a master of G-Line. I'm gonna start it off with the top left corner. First thing that we're gonna see is a GW5000 series from the black and red series. 43,000 yen, pretty pricey, but considering that, you know, 5000 series, all of them is priced at that range. So. Can't complain much. Next to it is a really, really rare Rise Man from Man in Dark Purple series, the JDM version, and only 25,000 yen. That is a bargain. Next to it will be two King model. Look like one will be the gold, and the one on the right will be either the all black King or the blue King. But looking for a price, it's about uh, 18,000 yen. So it's gonna be, I'm, I'm guessing this is the all black king, so still available today and the prices for that aren't that cheap in my opinion, but it does come with the box, so meh, some AWG and a bunch of this G Steel model, all of which is roughly about 17,000 yen all the way up to 25,000 yen. I will only consider this G Steel model cheap if they are lesser than 20,000 yen. So yeah, looking down below it, we're gonna have some range man just below that G2 model, two of them, and you guys can see that the price is totally different over here, even though they are looks similarly. And the difference is that the one on the left is a JDM version, the one on the right is non JDM version, which means the one on the right is non carbon fiber model. Move next to it, we're gonna see a golf man in ICRC model. I already made an unboxing or a video for this model before. Go check it out in their archive. This one, however, looks great. It's all white. It doesn't come with the box, but the pricing is only 12,000 yen, which is very cheap for a titanium model. Next to it, will be more golf man this is man in dark purple again jdm version i already made a video as well for this model for the known jdm model so you're gonna need to check the up in the archive as well this one is a lot more rare and check the price though that is a bargain since it also come with a box next to it will be two more golf man titanium model of course at 18,000 yen, which is pretty pricey and next to it is one of my favorite model from G-Shock lineup, the Golf Master. This is I believe the 2014 version, dead stock model at only 30,000. Now on the second row, let's go down below it, we're gonna see a bunch of Rockman models. All from the vintage line to the new model. All of them is a titanium model and you know what, look at the old price. This diver watch always priced like this at the used market recently and the navy blue one is one of the cheapest one it looks really good condition at only 23,000 yen that is a bargain right there next to it on the right is the real black frogman which I already made an unboxing review video as well so go check them out look at that the price still remains the same next to it will be a G-Shock frogman model from the 25th anniversary 41,000 yen that is expensive but it is a frogman and it is very very limited so that's justified the price next to it will be two basic frogman and the price 5,000 yen indifferent both of them have a box 
Both of them is a multiband 6 JDM model and the only difference I could see from here is that one is produced in 2015 and the other one on the which is on the left was produced in 2016. Now let's go down just below we're gonna see one more Frogman JDM model but this one come with the Master of G the new Master of G box so you know this one right here is probably be the 2016 or 2017 model let's move to the left we go to see more frogman model this is the red jelly model i already made an unboxing video review as well for this model go look in the archive for full thoughts and opinions look at that the price is 51,000 yen which is cheap by the way just in case you guys didn't know this model is really really rare man 51,000 51, that is a bargain right there considering if the condition is great like no cracking no damaging at all on the watch band because the watch band on this piece is very very hard to get so do take care of this if you find one anyway next to it is a gravity master model I'm not a big fan of this this is the GW 3500 series model with a steel bracelet but yeah 32,000 yen is pretty expensive in my opinion because I don't like it down on this shelf let's move to the right to the next shelf which is in the middle we are seeing a bunch of basic model or non master of g model g-shock starting from the top left corner as well we are going to see a fruit salad ge 110 series model and we're going to see a denim color series and ga 150 we're going to see a gd 100 and GD120 all of which are very basic and the pricing is about 10,000 yen not as cheap as I would imagine for this basic model because they are not that famous except for the GA110 of course you want to see a GLX150 model as well the all blue version is at least the, the best one above all of this model on top of this shelf and and the pricing is also cheap as well 7,980 yen Man, there is a bargain right there, but it didn't come with the box, but it's all fine. Let's go out and have a look at the road just below it, just below the Gillette 150 model. We are going to see a motorsports, the G-Spike model, G300 series. In this case, the pricing is pretty high, considering, if I'm not mistaken, the tax-free price for this model basic piece is only about 8,000 yen in this shop they, they are selling at 7,000 yen and they are in used condition man I'd rather get a brand new model instead of this however the orange one however is a bargain and we are seeing a bunch of jelly model as you are see old model at pretty high price but probably because they aren't that yellowish yet so that justified the 12,000 yen Next to it on the left, we are seeing a vintage model, D double 6000 series. This is the first, I believe, yeah, I believe this is the first G-Shock that have the capabilities to measure speed. Very interesting model and the price is cheap and it comes with the box, that is a bargain over there. Next to it on the left is another vintage piece. Man, this is way more rare. I can't recall the model number, I cannot see it clearly, but 10,000 yen for this yellow model. There's a bargain as well, it comes with the box. Man, that is very very rare piece. And of course, next to it is one of my favorite models again, Twin Sensor Golf Master Model. And I believe I already made an unboxing video for this as well. Look at the price though, 24,000 yen. Man, that is expensive in my opinion. Down on that, let's move down below the Golf Master Model. We're gonna see a bunch of 1600 series model basic piece basic colorway in purple in all black and a customized swarovski stone uh, basil price is pretty high actually and next to it on the left we are seeing a square model bunch of them medicom toy in all black at, at only 11,000 yen and come with the box man that is a bargain right there i don't know if you guys a big fan or not that black medicom toy over there is cheap and next to it is a pink square model that is the GW5610 model and that is also a bargain for the colorway that is very very rare and a GLX 5600 8000 yen per chip and the man in the rescue orange G5500 all of which are pretty cheap and the one on the most right 
corner will be a GLS 5600 that is an old model and the price is 7000 yen which is cheap as well for that red colorway. Alright moving down below those GLX model we are looking at a bunch only 3 of them this is GA500 Chari & Co. Next to it is the latest RCRC model. Not a lot of people are into white watches these days so I believe that's why this guy already sitting on shelf today. Well, next to it will be a bathing ape model. I mean babe is very hype up brand but this design however man they could do better. Now done on all of this shelf, the one on the most right will be just Baby G which I will just show you guys randomly at the end of the video. Now let's move on to the bottom level starting from the most left shelf from the most top rows of course. We're gonna have only 4 watches AWG, we're gonna have a GLX 1600 series, this is the most popular one but the pricing is high so well not as a good deal at all in my opinion at least so now let's moving down just below we're gonna see like six more watches a basic or mini version of 5500 we're gonna see a bunch of 5610 or tough solar square model which is pretty cheap in my opinion and the one on the most left will be like 11,000 yen which is pretty cheap all of this in this rose is very cheap if you're a fan of square model you're probably gonna grab either one or all of them you know next to it just right below that square piece we're gonna have more model from the top solar which is the uh, big case the JDM version the multiband 6 version of a 7000 series next to it we're gonna be a AWGM 100 look at that that is a top solar model and the price is only 11,000 yen that's very cheap and next to it on the right you guys already noticed this is the 5i modman 10,000 yen that is a bargain right there considering how rare this model is today and uh, we're gonna see a bunch of G's model resin and steel model at, at the old days and all of them are pretty expensive still but probably they look in good condition I'm not gonna cover much on this because I'm not a big fan done on all the G-Shock shelf because the one on the most bottom row is gonna be just Casio Protract and some Casio Edifice models I mean not G-Shock so just gonna show you guys like that let's move to the next shelf which is of course the one on the right we're gonna see just a few G-Shocks left all of which are not very famous or they're all vintage so I'm gonna cover like real quick two rows at once we are seeing g Cools, Slasher, Brown 7000 if I'm not mistaken that down there and white and g Cool again three g Cool all together GA120, G8000 series, G7000 series a G5500 in blue and green display that is very rare by the way and we are seeing yellow 12 beast model that's rare as well we're gonna see a dwx 110 a code names yeah two code name and all of this model right here is very very cheap. i could just easily grab all of this and just be done with my day and i could just you know wear different watches every single day if i wanted to if I'm a huge fan of a vintage and down below them will be a bunch of white models all of these are from lover set they are very popular so that's why the price is very low and again they are in white colorway and they are all most of this probably gonna end up cracking or the watch band the cloth nylon uh, velcro strap there on uh, that famous as well so that's why the price is very cheap but if you're a fan of G-Shot you're still gonna be very interested to grab either one or if not all of them okay done on all the g-shock shelf let's have a look on the baby g session as i'm concluding this video this is a book of storages in case you are wondering which is located in kawasaki region which is in kanagawa prefecture out of tokyo like two hours away from tokyo so if you are planning to go here that is uh, the location you are looking at since we are looking at over 100 units of castle g-shock watches over here I'm gonna give you guys like 50,000 yen of a budget which G-Shock or Baby G or watches that you are going to buy from all those photos that you just saw just now. For me, I'm most likely gonna grab this Man in Dark Purple Rise Man and Man in Dark Purple Mod Man and some G-Cool G-Shock watch from the Vintage line and that's about it. That's what I'm gonna buy if I have a 50,000 yen of budget. If you want to have access to all of these photos that I just show you guys so you could 
keep it in your devices for future reference whenever you are shopping online or anywhere else you can do so or you can get them from my patreon page as well link will be down below send a donation and you will have access to all of them and i guess that is all it guys i hope you guys found this video useful informative and entertaining as well leave a like and also subscribe to see more contents like this in the future Thank you very very much for watching again. This is G-Shock Hafez channel and um uh...